Ever since I'm a little kid, I've been fascinated with little tiny creatures, little creatures, little insignificant round creatures that are, you know, and I don't like to touch them or to just grab them and put them in my pocket. I just like to look at them. We went to this amazing store called uh, Canal Surplus on, uh, on Canal Street. He had these little gearboxes for, I think it was like the chattering teeth or something. They were Japanese and they're really good quality gearboxes. So I bought maybe like six or seven of these gearboxes. And, and I remember hanging out at David's studio in, on 23rd Street. And I used to just wind them up and put them on the table and had this off center weight and it would tumble around, you know. And, uh, and he had this, this contact welder. So I had the idea of welding legs to the thing, you know. So the first critter was born. So I put it standing up, wound it up, and it did the critter thing, you know. So Jan went to Mixi Plizik and he knew Kevin and he saw the critter and he bought the critter. And a friend of his from Holland said, you should produce it and convinced Jan to produce it. And then I wanted to make new, new designs, new models. And I kept saying, Jan, we should just do a new one. And I had a design Spinny, which is a cute little baby for a critter, you know. So he introduced Spinny, and Spinny was a huge success and increased sales of the critter. A Thousand Leaves project. It was something that I wanted to do for many years because it was a, a beautiful piece of forest that was destroyed for no reason at all in 1975, 76, when they, when they finished the construction of the road. Kickerland was fundamental. Uh, Jan was fundamental because he embraced the project and it's, it's as much a Kickerland project as it is my project. So we had the idea of creating a product and the royalties for the sales of the product would go exclusively for the reforestation. The forest was destroyed because of a road, so cars would drive by, you know? So what's better than a car to fund planting the forest again. So we came up with Z Zekar, Zekar, people call Zekar, Zekar. Very simple flywheel, it's very stylish. I think it's very beautiful. And then <clears throat> a few years later, Jan sort of suggested to do a matching fund, which was most generous of him. So we doubled. And that, when that happened, doubling the money, that's when the project hit overdrive because that's when we started planting 30,000 trees a year. You know, I never uh, imagined 30 years ago that I would actually plant a forest, you know. If you are passionate about an ideal, nothing will hold you back. You will figure a way of doing it.